subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Observe the animation. Click on the water droplet. Did you know that water is made of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom? Let's go into detail about the atom and molecule. A chemical formula is a symbol of a chemical substance using alphabets to represent the atoms present. Subscripts are used for the numbers of atoms. Click on the balloon. Did you know that hydrogen gas can cause a balloon to float in the air? For hydrogen, H represents hydrogen. Number 2 represents the number of atoms. So H2 is the chemical formula for hydrogen. Catch the two atoms and drop them in a jar. A formula represents one molecule of an element. It shows which element the molecule contains and the number of atoms in each molecule. Click on the jar. For nitrogen gas, N represents the symbol and for one molecule of nitrogen. It consists of two atoms of nitrogen. Let's look at another example. Catch the oxygen atoms and drop them in a jar. Click on the jar. This newly formed molecule is known as ozone. One molecule of ozone consists of three atoms of oxygen. Now let's study a formula representing one molecule of compound. Click on each compound. One molecule of nitric acid consists of hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. Molecule nitric acid is a combination of one hydrogen atom, one nitrogen atom and three oxygen atoms. Symbol for hydrogen, symbol for nitrogen, symbol for oxygen. One molecule of nitric acid consists of one hydrogen atom, one nitrogen atom and three oxygen atoms. One molecule of glucose consists of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Molecule glucose is a combination of six carbon atoms, twelve hydrogen atoms and six oxygen atoms. Symbol for carbon, hydrogen and oxygen shows the number of atoms of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. One molecule of copper 2 nitrate consists of copper, nitrogen and oxygen. Molecular copper 2 nitrate is a combination of one copper atom, two groups of nitrate ions, each group consists of one nitrogen atom and three oxygen atoms. Symbol for copper, nitrogen and oxygen. Open and close brackets shows two groups of nitrate ions in one molecule of copper 2 nitrate. There are two types of chemical formulae. A. Empirical formula. B. Molecular formula. Click on empirical formula. The empirical formula of a compound is the chemical formula which shows the simplest ratio of the atoms of each element in a compound. Ethane molecule consists of two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. The ratio of carbon atoms to hydrogen atoms is 2 to 4. The simplest ratio of C is to H equals 1 is to 2. So, the empirical formula of ethane is CH2. Calculating Empirical Formulae Step 1. Find the mass or percentage of elements X and O in a compound. Step 2. Divide the mass or percentage by relative atomic mass, AR, to find the number of moles. Step 3. Find the smallest ratio by dividing the smallest number obtained in Step 2. Step 4. What is the actual ratio of moles? Step 5. Write the empirical formula. Click on example 1 and 2 to see samples of calculating empirical formula.
In an experiment, a metal X combined with 4.32 grams oxygen gas to form 13.66 grams of a metallic oxide of X. Find the empirical formula of the metallic oxide. Step 1. Find the mass or percentage of elements X and O in a compound. Type in your answer in the blank space provided and click the check button. Please, please try again. Step 2. Divide the mass or percentage by relative atomic mass, AR, to find the number of moles. Type in your answer in the blank space provided and click the check button. Step 3. Find the smallest ratio by dividing the smallest number obtained in step 2. Type in your answer in the blank space provided and click the check button. Please. Step 4. What is the actual ratio of moles? Type in your answer in the blank space provided and click the check button. Please try again. Step 5. Write the empirical formula. Type in your answer in the blank space provided and click the check button. An unknown hydrocarbon contains 40% carbon and 53.3% oxygen. If the relative molecular mass of the compound is 180, find its empirical formula. Step 1. Find the mass or percentage of elements X and O in the compound. Type in your answer in the blank space provided and click the check button. Step 2. Divide the mass or percentage by relative atomic mass, AR, to find the number of moles. Type in your answer in the blank space provided and click the check button. Please. Step 3. Find the smallest ratio by dividing the smallest number obtained in step 2. Type in your answer in the blank space provided and click the check button. Step 4. What is the actual ratio of moles? Type in your answer in the blank space provided and click the check button. Please try. Step 5. Write the empirical formula. Type in your answer in the blank space Excellent. provided and click the check button. How do we determine the empirical formula of magnesium oxide experimentally? Weigh an empty crucible and its cover, record the mass. Key in the mass in the table provided. Excellent! Clean 5 cm magnesium ribbon with sandpaper. Roll it loosely into a coil. Place the coil in the crucible and cover it. Weigh and record the mass. Key in the mass in the table. Excellent! Heat the crucible over a strong flame. Lift the crucible cover once a while to allow oxygen to react with magnesium. Keep the crucible cover close when the magnesium begins to burn. This is to prevent the white fumes of magnesium oxide from escaping. When the magnesium stops burning, Cool and weigh the covered crucible. The mass is recorded. Repeat the heating, cooling and weighing until the final mass becomes constant. Record the reading. Key in the final mass in the table. Excellent!
the ratio of magnesium to oxygen is 1 to 1. Therefore, the empirical formula of magnesium oxide is MgO. If the magnesium is not completely burnt or the white fumes of magnesium oxide are allowed to escape into the air, then accurate readings will not be obtained. This will cause ratio of magnesium to oxygen to differ. The empirical formula of magnesium oxide is MgO. How do we determine the empirical formula of copper to oxide experimentally? Place a piece of asbestos in a combustion tube and weigh. Record the mass. Excellent! Place a spatula of black copper to oxide powder on the asbestos paper and weigh the combustion tube with its contents again. Record the mass. Excellent! Set up the apparatus. Open the thistle funnel dropper to allow the acid to flow into the conical flask. Pass the dry hydrogen through the combustion tube to displace all oxygen from the tube. This is determined by collecting some gas at A and introducing a burning splint into the test tube. If there is no pop sound, then all the hydrogen has been displaced. Burn the pure hydrogen that results at A, a blue flame will be seen. Heat the combustion tube while hydrogen gas is still flowing through. Copper to oxide will glow red hot and react with hydrogen gas. Stop the heating when the glow of copper to oxide subsided. Repeat the heating, cooling and weighing until the final mass becomes constant. Record the reading. Key in the final mass in the table. The reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid produces hydrogen gas which is passed through anhydrous calcium chloride to dry it. Hydrogen then reduces copper 2 oxide to copper as follows. Copper 2 oxide reacts with hydrogen to produce copper and water. The empirical formula of copper 2 oxide is CuO. Incomplete reduction of the oxide will result in different values of A and B. The empirical formula of copper to oxide is CuO. A chemical formula is a symbol of a chemical substance using letters of atoms and subscript numbers to show the numbers of each type of atoms that are present in the substance. The empirical formula of a compound is the chemical formula which shows the simplest ratio of the atoms of each element in a compound. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.